again, everyone. Uh, so I'm here with uh, Glynis Wiley, who's uh, kindly offered to um, share what God did for her uh, many years ago. Um, so if um, I'll just I'll just begin and, and ask you, Glynis, um, if you could just share briefly um, about what God did uh, to to heal you um, all those years ago. Thank you. Yes, it was actually thirty years ago. It was uh, November ninety one. I was very sick indeed with ME. I'd had to give up a very fulfilling career. I'd had to return to live with my parents. Um, <clears throat> I was bedridden quite a lot of the time, needed uh, a wheelchair for my hospital visits and so on, needed help with virtually everything. Um, it was a very tough time and it was for three years. Wow, okay. Um, however, um, somehow, I won't go into this story because it's a long one, but somehow some people I, I didn't even know took me to an evangelistic healing meeting at uh, what became our church in, in Wimbledon. And um, though it was uh, quite difficult for me because I couldn't actually sit or stand for any length of time. I was wow, okay. using my walking stick. It was, it was actually quite difficult to sit through the meeting and then at the end there was a call if you want he can come forward and I thought I was going to have to wait forever. It took such a long time to, and I thought I, I'm not sure I can actually stick this up but I did and they, this, this um, prayer ministry team took me into a separate room and um, they prayed for me, they laid hands on and the guy who'd done the preaching was taking the lead, but there was quite a team of people praying for me. Now, I can't honestly remember much about that actual process mm -hmm. um, because it was so difficult to stand. But um, the thing, what I can remember is the, the smell of the preacher's armpits. <laughs> it was, you know, that was that's a memory. But, but um, it was, and they, they finished praying and they kind of left the room and my immediate thought was, oh well, perhaps another time. But as I took a step towards the door, the most extraordinary thing happened and I can only describe it as power coming into my body. Wow. It was exactly as though my skeleton, my all my bones, the muscles were suddenly slotted back in wow. and my body went from being like foam rubber into muscle and bone again and I had this kind of surge of energy from deep inside. Uh, it, was, it was like a, just a strength. So in a sense it was such a power encounter with God. Um, but it was, despite the fact it was sort of 30 years ago, it's kind of stayed with me. I've never forgotten it. It was such an experience. Uh, and as I, I can remember as I left, um, and I was looking at my walking stick, thinking, hmm, I'm not sure what to do with this. <laughs> and um, the lady who had taken me to the church said, oh, shall I go and get the car? And I said, no, we'll walk around to the car. It was, oh it was just a different experience oh altogether. It was wonderful. Um, and I just, honestly, I am so grateful to God for that experience. You know, that loving, merciful Father is oh, mind-blowing. Wow, that's an amazing um, story. Thank you. God is amazing in the way that he heals people. Yeah. Um, so, so obviously, sometimes with these, um, these things, God, God teaches us some principles mm. or keys. Um, yeah. Yeah. What would you say you've learned about healing uh, on your journey? Well, at the time, it was definitely to do with God's amazing power because I mm -hmm. literally felt it in my body. Um, <clears throat> but also how he likes to co-work with us. Um, he, he used that team of people, uh, which is a principle that, you know, obviously I've grown in myself. Mm -hmm. um, and, but also his mercy and his intimate knowledge of me because he knew exactly what I needed at that wow. moment in time. Wow, that's wonderful. Um, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for sharing uh, what God did in your life. Thank you. It's a pleasure, Matt.